Lesson 52 Mercy to Patience Mercy Mercy is to be compassionate and tender-hearted towards others. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was a model of mercy. Modesty It is a kind of behaviour which causes one to refrain from obscene words and deeds as well as preventing oneself from not fulfilling the rights of others. Modesty is part of faith and both call to the good and ward off evil. A fair example is the Prophet, peace be upon him, who was more modest than the Virgin in her room. Modesty does not mean restraining oneself from speaking the truth, learning, commanding the right and prohibiting the wrong. Pardon. Pardon is to give up one's right in money and retaliation. Allah gives good tidings and praises those who pardon their fellow men. Patience. Patience is to make the self endure what it suffers from and to tolerate misfortune with contentment and admission without annoyance or complaint. Patience can be in enduring affliction, doing pious deeds and warding off sins. Patience is found when the Muslim continuously remembers that Allah's orders are effective, his judgment is just, and his ordinance executable, whether the bondman be patient or not. Being patient during times of affliction expiates evil deeds. A Muslim warns off sins and harm by practicing patience and forgiveness. Patience includes keeping secrets. Evidence of Qur'an and Sunnah Mercy Allah says This means then he became one of those who believed and recommended one another to perseverance and patience and also recommended one another to pity and compassion. They are those on the right hand of the dwellers of paradise. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The believers in their mutual kindness, compassion and sympathy are like the body. If one of the organs is afflicted, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah bestows his mercy on the merciful among his slaves. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The compassionate one, that is Allah, has mercy on those who are merciful. If you show mercy to those who are on the earth, he who is in the heaven, i.e. Allah, will show mercy to you. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, That who does not show mercy to others will not be shown mercy. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Mercy is taken away only from him who is miserable. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, A man was walking on his way when he became awfully thirsty. He found a well and he got down into the well and drank from it. Then he went away. Suddenly he saw a dog panting out of thirst. The man thought that the dog was extremely thirsty, as he was. Therefore he descended into the well. He filled up his scuff with water and held it in his mouth. He climbed up and quenched the thirst of the dog. Allah held his action in high esteem and forgave him. The companions, may Allah be pleased with them, said, Shall we be rewarded for showing kindness to animals also? He said, a reward is given in connection with every living creature. 
the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said a woman was punished because of a cat which she had jailed until it died and hence she entered the hell she did not allow it to eat or drink as it was confined nor did she free it so that it might eat the insects of the earth the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said I stand up to lead the prayer with the intention of prolonging it then I hear the cry of an infant and I shorten the prayer lest I should make it burdensome for his mother modesty Allah says this means tell the believing men to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protect their private parts from illegal sexual acts etc that is purer for them verily Allah is all aware of what they do and tell the believing women to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protect their private parts from illegal sexual acts etc and not to show off their adornment except only that which is apparent like palms of hands and faces or outer dress like veil gloves head cover apron etc the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said faith has 60 odd or 70 odd branches the uppermost of all these is the testimony of faith la ilaha illallah there is no true God except Allah while the least of them is the removal of harmful objects from the road and modesty is a branch of faith the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said modesty does not bring anything except good it was narrated the messenger of Allah peace be upon him was even more modest than a virgin behind her veil the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said every one of my followers will be forgiven except those who display their wrongdoings in the open the messenger of Allah peace be upon him passed by a man of the Ansar who was admonishing his brother regarding modesty the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said leave him alone for modesty is part of faith the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said among the admonitions which have been survived after the previous prophets and conveyed to people is if you are not modest you may do whatever you like uh, the Prophet peace be upon him once said to his companions be truly shy of Allah they said O oh Allah's Prophet surely we are shy of Allah praise be to Allah he said not this to be truly shy of Allah you have to preserve the head and what is what it comprehends and the abdomen and what it contains and to remember death and decay whoever is willing to gain the hereafter has to relinquish the adornment of worldly life he who does this is indeed truly shying of Allah pardon Allah says this means the recompense for an evil is an evil like thereof but whoever forgives and makes reconciliation his reward is due from Allah Allah says this means show forgiveness enjoin what is good and turn away from the foolish that is don't punish them Allah says this means and to forego and give her the full mahr that is marriage dowry is nearer to a taqwa piety righteousness and do not forget liberality between yourselves the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said wealth does not decrease by giving charity Allah augments the honor of that who forgives and that who behaves modestly Allah will exalt him in ranks Aisha may Allah be pleased with her narrated 
Whenever the Prophet, peace be upon him, was given a choice, he would choose the easier course as long as it was not a sin. Yet, if it was sinful, he would avoid it, nor did he ever take revenge over anybody for his own sake. However, when Allah's legal bindings were outraged, he would take revenge for Allah's sake. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to supplicate Allah, saying, O oh Allah, you are most forgiving and you love forgiveness, so forgive me. Patience. <coughs> Allah says, This means, you who believe, endure and be more patient than your enemy, and guard your territory by stationing army units permanently at the places from where the enemy can attack you, and fear Allah so that you may be successful. Allah says, This means, but give glad tidings to As Sabirun, the patient, who, when afflicted with calamity, say, Truly, to Allah we belong, and truly to Him we shall return. They are those on whom are the prayers from their Lord, and they are those who receive His mercy, and it is they who are the guided ones. <coughs> Allah says, this means only those who are patient shall receive their rewards in full, without reckoning. There are many other verses that urge people to be patient. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, How excellent is the case of a faithful servant! There is good for him in everything, and this is not the case with anyone except him. The prosperity attends him, he expresses gratitude to Allah, and that is good for him. And if adversity befalls him, he endures it patiently, and that is better for him. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, And endurance is a glow. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, He who refrains from begging, Allah safeguards him against want, and he who seeks sufficiency, Allah will keep him in a state of sufficiency, and he who shows patience, Allah will grant him power to be patient, and none is blessed with an endowment better and greater than patience. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was once asked, Which people suffer most? He, peace be upon him, replied, The most in their suffering among the people are the prophets, then the best, then the next best. Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said, Anyone whom Allah intends good for him is made to suffer from some affliction. Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said, Allah, the glorious and exalted, says, When I afflict my servant in his two dear things, i.e. his eyes, and he endures patiently, I shall compensate him for them with paradise. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, A Muslim male or female continues to remain under trial with respect to his life, property, and offspring till he or she faces Allah, the exalted, in a state in which all his or her sins have been expiated. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, The greatness of reward is accompanied by the greatness of distress. If Allah, the exalted, loves people, he afflicts them with trials. One who is content with that trial, all the consent is for him. And one who is annoyed with it, all the wrath is for him. <coughs>